Earl Spencer Jr., the match of Udini's Yugas is confirmed as April 16, and the first goal of Unity is to win the third championship. Errol Spence Jr. has confirmed he will go head-to-head -head with Udenis Yugas in a welterweight unification clash at Texas ATT Stadium on April 16. Spence, who currently holds the WBC and IBF titles at 147 pounds, has only fought once in the last 28 months after a near-fatal car crash left him fighting for his life. In October 2019, miraculously, the American escaped with only facial lacerations and damage to his teeth despite initially being rushed to hospital in serious condition, meaning he was able to return to the ring and pick up a routine points victory over former world champion Danny Garcia. In December 2020, Errol Spence Jr. is set to face Udenis Yugas at Texas ATT Stadium on April 16. Related articles previous Floyd Mayweather's comeback fight with YouTuber turned boxer Guy Sports need to buy this joker a pair of glasses dash Anthony Joshua will not fight Alexander Usyk next because he Jake Paul blasts Bob Arum again over his misogynistic Share this article share Since then Spence has been on the hunt for a new challenge and now it has finally arrived in the shape of WBA champion Yuga. After months of speculation he finally confirmed on Monday that his showdown with the Cuban fighter, who sent Manny Pacquiao into retirement when Spence pulled out of his meeting with the boxing legend through injury last August, will take place in Texas on April 16. Spence will be expected to prevail at the ATT Stadium prior to his crash. The 31-year-old was widely considered one of the top pound-for-pound -pound fighters on the planet and he still maintains an impeccable professional record of 27 wins from 27 fights. In back shark at ATT Stadium against WBA champion Yuga's April 16th access code on HTTPS. Ugh. Slash t.co slash i8avwxhcbi at 12 p.m. for early tickets, let's get it. Hashtag war ready, hashtag strap season, hashtag man down, hashtag cowboys pic at twitter.com slash qoofljcf. Errol Spence February 8, 2022 Spence has been on the hunt for his next challenge since beating Danny Garcia. In 2020, in Yugas he is facing the man who sent Manny Pacquiao into retirement in August of last year. Yugas, on the other hand, has claimed 27 victories from 31 outings, suffering defeats against Sean Porter. Amir Imam, Emmanuel Robles, and Johnny Garcia. Boxing fans will be licking their lips at the prospect of Spence adding another welterweight strap to his collection and setting up a potential undisputed battle with pound-for-pound -pound master Terence Crawford. Crawford, who stakes a claim to being the best fighter in the world right now, is currently in possession of the WBO title which he secured after moving up from light welterweight in 2018. But coming out on top will move Spence one step closer to a bout with Terence Crawford. A dream matchup between the Nebraska-born star and Spence has been touted for years on end, only for their respective promotional teams to find themselves at loggerheads in negotiation. Spence was in attendance when his arch-rival knocked out Porter in November of last year, and after the victory Crawford said. Who's number one in the welterweight division now? You all know who I want. I've been calling him out. Maybe he'll go up to 154 pounds. Maybe Spence Jr. will fight me. Related articles previous. Floyd Mayweather's comeback fight with YouTuber turned boxer. Guy Sports need to buy this joker a pair of glasses dash. Anthony Joshua will not fight Alexander Usyk next because he. Jake Paul blasts Bob Arum again over his misogynistic. Share this article share.